Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Thursday, June 5th, 2014. Well, some of these announcements yesterday, like the uh, ADP Employment Report, International Trade, and Productivity and Costs, all were not very good reports. Uh, the surprise was the ADP employment report, which is probably just as accurate, if not more accurate, than the government's report. Because the government uh, only counts things, <laughs> only counts, uh, only does it count the, the data that it uses. It's very picky on it. And it makes it look a little more rosy than what it really is. There's such a thing as underemployment. And then there's people that aren't looking for work, which they don't count as unemployed. Well, if you're not looking for work, then you don't want to work. Then apparently you're not unemployed. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I've been uh, kind of ragging about that now for quite a while. And I guess for right now, at least, it is what it is. But there's other news out there, though, that uh, might be more credible. Okay, so, but anyway, for today, we have jobless claims at 8.30. And is that it for today? It's it for today that has stars out of a... Very starry week. There's a lot of red and gold stars for this week. And yet the market just kind of keeps chugging on. Which, speaking of, let's take a look in Asia and see what's going on. Slightly mixed in Asia to uh, maybe leaning towards the bullish side. And in Europe, uh, about the same thing. Uh, mostly bullish, a couple of reds there, but for the most part, they're up. Okay, uh, let's see, here in the U.S., flat at the open. I mean, you can't get much flatter than that. Gold is up only 20 cents overnight, and oil is down 40 cents to 102.23 overnight. And looking at the account, uh, we did enter Apple and F5 Networks yesterday. Apple, the initial order that I put in in the morning, um, I tried to get a little bit better price than what was available at the time. It was uh, hanging around a dollar eighteen to a dollar twenty for the. Oh, let's take a look at the analyze tab for the. Um, uh, let's put Apple up here. So initially, I was looking to do the short at six forty two. Oh, six forty. Yeah, six forty two fifty. And uh no. Where was I? Anyway, um Yes, I was looking for that short at six forty two fifty. Looking to get a dollar twenty out of it and it just was a tad late on that. And it never did execute. And then at lunchtime, I changed it over to a short at 645. And that one did. I was able to enter that one. So we're in on Apple right now. And uh, also, we did open a position on F5 Networks, which is a 20 Delta on F5. And we'll take a look at those as we go through. Alright, so uh, first up to bat is Apple. And uh, we got in here uh, around noon, between 12 and 12.30 was when we entered. 
And uh, we're looking for a, well, yeah, possible slight gap up this morning, at least in the pre-market trading. Okay, so we're in on that. Let's take that off of there. So we're about 50-50. Not exactly, but pretty close. Um, 488 for uh, profit and 512 for risk. So our risk reward is almost one to one. Amazon. We are in Amazon. Let's take a look at the chart with the 20 delta here. And expiration is next week. We have a hook up here on a stochastic, but the MACD is still down. So we're not panicky about this, and it looks like as though uh, we'll have a gap down this morning. Boeing. Of course, uh, we exited this one early, and we're waiting for our next opportunity here. And well, let's just move this over there. Okay. Baidu. Nothing going at the moment. Uh, just was not going to work out for us at this time. So now, if I was to do anything, and this is kind of a setup for a 20 delta, that's what I would be looking for was a 20 delta on this. Yesterday we had this. We didn't have this in there for anything yesterday, did we? You would think I would have had this in there for either a setup or a 20 delta, but I don't see it in my notes at all. Um, so this would be a 20 delta now, so we'll change this over to yellow. And we'll put it on our 20 delta list. And the reason why is because um, it's not it's not following what we would normally do with the rules. We have a violation here. Um, we don't have a solid red down and then our double green up on both the stochastic and the MACD, but yet we are still in a new uptrend and the price has pulled back. And if price responds today, I don't see any trades for this morning, but if price responds into in an upward motion today, it would be a consideration for a 20 delta. All right, moving right along, Celgene. <laughs> it's in a pretty strong move right here, sort of contrary to the market. We have to move our target out a little bit as we wait patiently. Possibly could have done a 20 delta here. Didn't though. Did not. Chipotle. And Chipotle's in a pretty strong move too, not giving any sort of opportunity for an entry. And I don't want to chase it. So we're leaving that one alone for right now. There's other fish to fry. All right, we were looking for <clears throat> entry into an iron condor here on Costco. Possibly a 20 delta on both sides of this. Just because we have a lot of price consolidation here. Oh, very interesting. I think we're going to get a hook down this morning, which would give us an entry here on Costco. All right. We'll keep an eye on that one for today. Chevron, we were in, we exited, and there's no other opportunities appearing right now. It's in a nice solid uptrend, but the EMA is pointing downward, which, by the way, I was, uh, I don't have this EMA in my studies, my downloadable studies, so I'll be adding that. I was reminded of that by a reader, so um, I'll be uh, adding that because I'm becoming more, I'm relying more on it because it just reacts a little bit faster than the uh, SMA. 
I'll keep the SMA on here. I like to look at both of them. But we are in what could be a new downtrend. So, okay, that's enough of that. I was <laughs> just trying to think of uh, something else to say about it. really didn't have anything else to say about it. The Dow uh, struggling here at its top. Remember, we were talking about a double top here. So this is a struggle. Uh, not exactly sure what's going to be happening with that. Don't try to predict. Just try to trade the momentum. Um, EOG actually had a new high yesterday. Barely. Um, and we're still waiting for it to come down to our target. We have to slide that over. Wait another couple of days for that. 20 delta trade right in here. Didn't catch that or didn't do it. Uh, okay, keep on moving here, FedEx. Uh, we are still in setup mode on FedEx. All right, F5 Networks, we did enter that trade. And I did not make a picture of it, really. Uh, our short is at 115. Oh, it's probably up here. Oh, yeah. I did make a picture. It's way up there. Picked a normal expiration because we don't have multiple weeklies on F5. So I had to pick the normal expiration. And then there's gold. <laughs> All right, so gold, we may be, you know, this would, this might be a good one to go uh, with a 20 delta on. I don't think it's too late to do that. But we are, we're still in a downtrend. I think I'm going to hold off on that. I'm not gutsy enough to do that. That takes a lot of nerve, let me tell you. Google. We don't have that kind of nerves. <laughs> Google, a new uptrend. Is it going to put a halt to this recent pullback? We don't know. So we're not touching that one. LinkedIn. We are in on LinkedIn. I did put an alert on this yesterday uh, as a bail alert. And uh, it didn't trigger. Man, it came so close. So close here. Uh, but it did not trigger. What did this one? I can't see what it closed at. Let's slide this over. And uh, we can just look at the high for today. So the high is 158 and the alert's at 158.01. So we'll have to see what happens today with it, if that alert is going to trigger or not. 3M, uh, looking for an entry here. Now, if we if we come down here and we end up in the twilight zone here and it hooks back up, it may just throw a 20 delta in on 3M to try to uh, catch this trend here. NDX. Uh, Yesterday, I thought that maybe we were going to be coming down here into our target area, but it doesn't look like it right now. A new high on the NASDAQ. Netflix. All right, it's um, attempting to get down into our target area. Same thing with Netflix. If we get, if it doesn't complete this downward cycle here, on the stochastic and it hooks back up because of the, the very strong trend that it's in right now I would jump on that with a 20 delta price line alright price line new uptrend and we have a full nice pretty full cycle here I'm looking at a 20 delta down here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. 
That's what I wanted to do. I might do both. We'll have to see how it works out today. This is pretty, that's a pretty strong down move. I don't think I would do a 50 delta in the bull put area on that. Not that confident. Okay, so Russell gave us a nice little hook right here. New uptrend. I'll put this on a 20 delta list for today. And we would, uh, expirations that we would have a take a look at 20 delta for next Friday just to see what we got going here there's a 19 delta that would be a 75 cent credit on a five dollar spread oh it's a little worse than five to one risk reward more like almost six and a half to one which isn't too bad give us eleven hundred or let's see yeah eleven hundred which would be here probably would not be all that bad of a trade so I'll put that on our 20 Delta list for today okay SPX Uh, looks a little top heavy here, new high though, on the S&P 500. So I had two new highs on the indexes yesterday. Um, and that being NASDAQ and the S&P 500, uh, we're waiting for it to come down here into our target area, TLT. I don't understand what's going on here, but it's holding. So maybe, yeah, we're gonna. It looks like we're gonna gap up today. So we are looking at a twenty delta setup here. Tesla. Wanted to get in on this yesterday and it just was not cooperating. We didn't get the confirmation uh, based on the EMA. I would have possibly gotten in with a 20 Delta here. But in reality, following our rules, we're really looking for a bear call. This would be a bull put down here, a 20 Delta down here, and a 50 Delta up here. But uh, not sure exactly what what it's trying to tell me and if I'm not clear on that then I'm not interested okay we have Visa here uh, in a new uptrend according to the EMA this was a mistake here and if I would have been put more weight on what the EMA was telling me I would not have had this particular loser here so maybe I should rely more on the EMA and if I was to do that what I'm seeing here is a 20 Delta just because we have conflicts between the moving averages so let's change that to a 20 Delta and we'll put it on our list and that is it for this Thursday so I would like to say thank you for watching I'm sure that some of you are pretty dedicated to viewing the videos and I do appreciate that and uh, I guess have a great day and happy trading thanks for watching again bye